Greetings. Today, I want to talk about a crucial topic, the potential challenges of solely focusing on multiculturalism, diversity, equity, and inclusion without giving due consideration to the issues around Black self-determination. Multiculturalism and diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI, we are told, are essential principles in creating a more inclusive society. However, when those issues are prioritized over Black self-determination, it can inadvertently work against the interests of the Black community. Before I tell you why, I'm Diane Thomas, and welcome to my channel. I love Black people, and I help us get to levels of increasing self-determination by creating purposeful and engaged lives so that we can boldly serve ourselves and others despite the constraints of Black excellence, excellence and Black exceptionalism. If this sounds like something that you'd like to learn more about, you're in the right place. So please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I post a new video or when I go live. You can also go ahead and fill out the, app, the uh, link down below to get notification emails so that you can ensure that you don't miss a live since you may not always get notification from YouTube. The link, as I mentioned before, is in the description. I have a major issue with this recently minted term BIPOC because it's a prime example of superficial representation. The practice of using it as a catch-all phrase to showcase diversity on the surface level completely negates the treacherous system of policies and practices put in place to render Black people a permanent underclass. Dismissing the specific needs of Black people makes it easier to dismiss the distinct needs of any other quote unquote IPOPs or people of color. Focusing solely on multiculturalism and DEI dismisses the importance of Black agency and self determination. It's crucial to empower the Black community to define our own goals, set our own path, so that we are living from a position of strength by centering. Black voices and agency, we ensure that our perspectives and aspirations are heard and acted upon. When the focus is primarily on multiculturalism and DEI, the underlying systemic racism that disproportionately affects the Black community will not be dismantled. It's essential to confront this rigged system of barriers, discriminatory practices, and anti-Black racism that continue to hinder progress. While we must work towards creating equitable systems that benefit all, it won't happen without first addressing the historical and ongoing injustices faced by the Black community. By prioritizing multiculturalism and DEI without considering Black self-determination, there's a risk of neglecting the unique experiences and needs of the Black community. It's important to recognize that while we celebrate diversity, the Black community faces specific challenges and requires specific, special solutions. By addressing these challenges directly, we can create an environment where power shifts can happen for Black people first and then for others. This book, Poweronomics, the National Plan to Empower Black America, written by Dr. Claude Anderson, is an action plan for turning impoverished, powerless Blacks into truly competitive groups. It is a riveting read that teaches us a new way to see, think, and behave in racial matters. You can purchase a copy from him directly using the link in the description. We can acknowledge that Black people may face multiple forms of oppression simultaneously, but that no other oppression is more of an existential threat than anti-Black racism. By actively fighting to dismantle Black racism, 
all other types of isms, quote unquote, will be diminished. Amplifying Black voices is crucial. By prioritizing Black self-determination, we empower individuals and communities to share their stories, insights, and aspirations. It's essential to provide platforms and opportunities for Black people, especially Black men and Black youth, to be heard and valued, ensuring that their needs are a part of our collective understanding and that their narratives drive meaningful change. Collaboration and solidarity among each other are powerful tools for creating positive change. By working together with individuals from across the African diaspora, we can foster an environment of mutual support and collective action. By uniting under a common goal of dismantling systemic racism and promoting justice, we can create lasting and meaningful impact. Remember, it's not multiculturalism, diversity, equity, and inclusion versus Black self-determination. It's about acknowledging that the justice claim made by Black people against those that owe us supersedes all other isms, and that within its achievement lies the model for other people groups to follow. So if you're having a challenge navigating conversations and impacts around multiculturalism, diversity, equity, and inclusion, even BIPOC while at home, at work, or at play, let's go on ahead and set up a time so that you can talk about how you can chart a smoother course for yourself by adapting habits and practices designed for you to competently meet the moment. Use the link in the description below to apply for your free one-hour certified high-performance coaching session, and let's get started.